hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to discuss about the ghost seedal method okay fine so in this video we are going to try to understand the ghost seedal method how to proceed and how it is different from uh, what is the procedure difference from the ghost elimination as well as ghost um, one more was there that is jordan method okay so fine so let us see how to do the ghost seedal equation now the equations are given in this format okay system of equations now here we can observe that you can observe diagonally the coefficient of x is 10 in this equation here coefficient of y is 10 and here coefficient of z is equal to 10 you can observe that pattern now it is not necessary that it indicates that you can you have to go by ghost seedal method it is not necessary that when you see this it can be of different type also okay that i'll show you later now let us proceed how to do this problem now first of all thing first thing what you have to understand that you have to shift the keep x on one side and shift all others on the rh side okay so how to proceed now see i will shift i will keep x on the lh side and shift r to all the others to the rh side so it becomes 12 minus y minus z and what else is there x is multiplied with 10 so it comes here in the division form okay so i can write it as what 1 by 10 now how to do next one next one what, what i'll do x is equal to so from the second equation remember you have to take what y not x okay so this you have to take y so phi uh, y i'll take this side so it will be 1 by 10 and the rest of the terms will come here 12 minus uh, what else x minus z okay now next one next one will be z is equal to 1 by 10 12 minus x minus y okay now this is the form of equation we got okay now next thing is that your this is all this method is also called as what iteration method in which you have to uh, start from the solutions you have to take x equal to y y equal to x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 okay now i'll show you first iteration how to do you have to do at least four iterations to get the answer okay and in this type of cases where this uh, constants will come and here rh is also uh, same they in that case the solution will be x equal to 1 y equal to 1 and z is equal to 1 but you have to show how to get it correct okay so let us start with the first iteration in first iteration we'll start with the first equation x is equal to so for first iteration i'll put it here as one something okay to indicate that this is the first iteration so first iteration one by 10 here remember in place of y i'll put what zero this is the we can say trial solutions or first solution in which you have to put the substitute values zero x equal to zero y equal to zero and z is equal to zero okay and minus z is equal to what zero okay and after doing this i'll get the value as what 12 by 10 which is equal to 1 by 2 okay now y why i'll take 1 by 10 and remember while doing the second equation you remember if suppose you have got the x1 see x1 i have got which is nothing but 1.2 you have to put the substitute the value x1 here that you have to remember okay after getting some value suppose i am getting x value then the next equation you have to put x value as that value that means here x what i'll put i'll put 1.2 not 0 okay remember this and z we don't have the value of z so initial values we have to take it as what 0 that's it if you have the value then you have to substitute that value then here i'll get the answer as what 1.08 you can use the calculator and find out otherwise do the normal method okay z here 1 by 10 12 minus here x now x value i have this one don't take this value okay i have this value so 1.2 minus y value see y value i have zero but i got another value y so i have to take that value latest value you can say okay whatever you are getting value that values you have to take now here you will get the value as 0 0.972 okay now proceeding to the second iteration now comes the second iteration in second iteration what happens you have to do at least four iterations okay whenever they don't mention also but still you have to do four iterations or at least three so let us do the second one
1 by 10 12 minus y now here y what value I have to take this value 1.08 minus now z is there sorry I have z is there so z what value I should take I should take this value not 0 okay whatever the latest value you got for the z that you have to take now here what will be the answer of this here it will be 0 0.9948 okay then y second iteration 12 minus x value see x value I have this but the latest value is this see here it is x value I have the latest value this is not a latest now this is the latest one so you have to take the initial condition you leave the initial condition now it's over okay 0 0.48 minus here z is the z which value I should take this value okay here I will get the value as 1.00 332 now moving to the last one that is z that is nothing but 1 by 10 12 minus x x value i have initial value as this not initial value that is the latest value i can say minus y what is y value here this one not this one okay this one you have to take 1.00332 so what is the value of that 1.000188 so this will be the final this thing so i'll do the third iteration okay third iteration in third iteration you will take now which is equal to 1 by 10 12 minus now here i have what i have y minus z y which is the latest value of y y this is the latest value so you have to take this value okay so that is nothing but what 1.00332 minus z z here here z which is the latest value this one last value which we got okay that value you have to take 1.000188 okay by doing this calculation i will get the answer as 0 0.99965 you can observe that by doing one one uh, iterations the values of x is getting nearer to what nearer to it is getting as one you can you can observe that okay here 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 like that even for y even for z also you can observe that now moving further we'll do the y part this is not power okay remember for indication i'm putting that 12 minus x value i should take what this value this is the latest value of x 0 0.996 one more nine is there 65 minus now z value comes z value i have to take the previous one that means from here i have to take z value okay that is nothing but this value itself that's 1.000188 now the final answer of this will be what 1.00002 you can check it with the calculator also now now proceeding to the z here i have to take 1 by 10 12 minus now it comes x and y okay so x latest value is which one this one so i have to take x latest value as 9965 minus now y comes y latest value is this one okay latest value is this one so i have to take this value not the previous value always remember latest value whichever you are getting that you have to take now this answer will be what around 1.00003 okay you can observe the uh, the changes in the values of x y and z okay fourth iteration will do we'll try to get one as the answer or nearest approximately one x that is 1 by 10 12 minus now x y value i have to take which one i should take this one this one i should take 1.000002 minus z value which i which one i should take z value latest is this one 1.000003 when you do this calculation you'll get your answer as 0 0.99999 around 5 nines and 5 okay and next y will do y is nothing but 1 by 10 12 minus now 12 minus what x and minus y x value which one i should take this one not this one okay don't think we have to take the previous iterations value no latest value see in this i am getting the latest value as x x value i have got so i will put that value nine fives 
and phi minus which one is z z in this we don't have iteration we don't have the latest value is this one so i have to put here so what will i get i'll get the answer as around 1 point okay it is uh, almost it is what approximately it is 1 or you can write the value as what 0 0.999995 and 17 it is approximately 1 itself okay you can replace this as also what 1 itself no last one z oh sorry this is the fourth iteration right fourth iteration okay that is equal to 1 by 10 12 minus what 12 minus x and y so which one x x this one and y this one i should take so you can take directly as one or you can write the whole term itself minus 0 0.999997 so you'll approximately get the value as one okay so in all the three cases you can observe that this is e almost equal to approximately equal to what one so at least fourth iteration you will get the answer as what one 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 so x equal to one y equal to 1 and z is equal to 1 this will be the solution so this is how you have to do Gauss-Seidel method